the caterpillar climb. So I don't know about all of you, but this one was a major struggle bus for me when I first started pull. Um, a lot of people use it to get up into their Aisha hook, which I also struggle with when I started pull because I have some shoulder issues, some instability there. Um, so working on the caterpillar climb was a very frustrating experience for me. So I wanted to kind of give you some tips and tricks to help strengthen your caterpillar climb and start working towards getting more confident so that you can use it as a conditioning exercise and or as a descent to get you, or I'm sorry, ascent climbing up to help get you into some of the pull moves. So for the caterpillar climb, generally speaking, people push with one arm, grab with the other, pull it to their chest, and then scoot their legs up. Or more advanced people will just hold elbow, basically do an Aisha kind of into it. Um, for me, when I first started, I didn't have the strength to push with one arm, which meant I couldn't go anywhere, okay? So initially, when you start with this, I would recommend pushing with both hands, then hook. And then over time, you'll start to be able to push with one. So let's look at what that looks like. So your goal is to be able to push one hand, butt goes up, I'm pulling in a cuff grip, pull it to my chest, scoot my legs up. Hand comes to here, cup grip at my hips, push, slide, and extend. But like I said, initially for some of us, pushing with one arm, oh, not even the ballpark. So we're going to start with pushing with both. So before you work on a caterpillar climb, you definitely need to be very secure in your crucifix, in your leg grip, being able to hold. Because for that split second when you're pushing with your hands, your life depends on your inner thighs, okay? So if the one arm is not quite working for you, um, and actually let's go over the mechanics of the one arm. When I push with the one arm, I'm very close. I'm not just gonna push up because you kind of run into the pole. It's sort of an out and up, okay? So your legs should be doing a lot of the work. If you're relying on just your arms, you're gonna have a really difficult time with this. So really think about, pulling with your legs, engaging those hamstrings to pull you up, okay? So one hand will go, I put it about at my hips, belly button level, somewhere in here. The other hand about face height, okay? If you go too low, you're also gonna have a hard time pushing. So about face height and push. And then this arm will pull into that forearm grip, okay? So let's take a quick look-see at that upside down and then we'll progress to that double arm one, okay? So as I'm here, my right hand is about face level. My other hand is about belly button, okay? I'm gonna push, slide, grab, and then scoot my legs up, okay? And it doesn't gain a whole lot of elevation. It's really not meant to be the most efficient climb, but it's a way to change up your climb. So now, if you look at the double arm, the initial is different, both hands pushing, but everything else is the same. Just you're gonna use the strength of both arms combined instead of one arm to push, okay? So let's look at that. Both arms, chest, push up, bring that arm up, then slide the legs up, okay? So if the double arm is still out of your ballpark and we're just building the confidence, a great conditioning exercise that I found is to work this on the floor for two reasons. A, strengthening those arms. B, starting to get a feel for the mechanics for where your hips are going, okay? So you're gonna go into a crucifix, you're gonna descend down, you're going to basically do a handstand push-up and start to work the mechanics of where your legs are going. Okay, so hands relatively close to the pole. I'm gonna bend down, push up with my legs, slide up, okay? So this helps me A, strengthen my arms, and B, get the mechanics of where my legs are going. Slide down, so this is the initial part of your caterpillar climb. Push, my butt goes up and away, slide my legs up. Start again, push, slide my legs up. So, that is your caterpillar climb, a little exercise you can do to condition. So. If it's brand new to you, start with that push-up position on the floor. Two, double hands together. Three, one arm and grab. 
and that's your progression to start working on it. Try adding these in. Definitely work both sides unless you have some kind of an injury that prohibits you from doing both sides, but do try to evenly work both sides as much as you can. If you have questions on these, please feel free to leave those in the comments below. Requests for future tutorials I always love, so please send those my way, and please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.